Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Jessica and today I have a whole house reset for you, which means tons of cleaning motivation. I've got bedding to wash. I've got beds to make. I've got floors to clean. I've got all of the things. I'm also making a dinner in this video. So I'm going to be sharing with you that recipe and what I made. But if you guys need some cleaning motivation, if you need to reset your house, then this video will definitely leave you feeling motivated. If it doesn't, then I'm just not doing a very good job. This has tons of cleaning motivation. You're going to be here for nearly 40 minutes, or at least I hope you are. So definitely stay tuned and before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. One bedroom flat, I locked the door and put that photo of her on the floor. Been here for hours, it's getting dark. Okay, first things first. I usually start with the bed and today is a little different because I'm going to be washing all of my bedding. That means my comforter, my down comforter, my pillow shams, my decorative pillow covers, all of it. It's all getting washed. The only thing I didn't wash was my mattress protector and that's just because I just washed it and put it on. So I didn't want to just wash it for the sake of the video, but here's your sign. If you haven't washed like all of your bedding, today's the day, get it all in the washer and get it going because I definitely was over do for that myself and it takes forever and I think that that's the biggest reason why I don't do it more often because it literally takes all day so the very first thing in the morning I put this in and got it going my son was still home we were on the way to take him to school and then when I got back I was able to switch out and start the next thing but it did take nearly all day to do all of this bedding for some reason this particular pillow I could not find the zipper it was hidden so well in there but I did end up finding it but for a minute I thought I was going crazy so the next thing I wanted to do was also strip the guest bedding because my mother-in-law stayed in here and now my sister's coming to visit. So I needed to wash all of the sheets for her and make those fresh. And she's coming actually tomorrow. It's spring break for my kids. They're all home from school and she took some time off work and she's coming to visit us for the week. So I'm really excited to have her and I'm really excited to see what she thinks about the new guest room. All right. Now that I have the bedding going, I can move on and do some other things while that's washing and then we'll get back to that later. One thing I did want to get done in this video was to clean my Scentsy warmer. And the way that I do that is with rubbing alcohol. Mine is obviously way overdue for that. And I will be completely honest with you guys. When I first did it, I didn't turn it on and I was expecting it to work. And then later I realized like, duh, I need to turn it on. And that works much better. So if you are going to use that hack to clean your Scentsy warmer or any warmer, it doesn't have to be Scentsy and use rubbing alcohol, turn the thing on. Like Sometimes I wonder about myself, but anyways, I showed you kind of the before and I've got the alcohol in there soaking while I'm doing all of this other stuff. And I will show some clips here in a little bit of the process. It was a bit harder to get mine clean this time just because it was way overdue and it's older. So it's had some time to be burnt in there a little bit. So you'll see, I did get it a lot cleaner than it is now, but it's not like brand new and it never will be, but I'm okay with that because it does look literally 10 times better. And that method works so well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start dinner because it was a crock pot meal and I was making a potato baked loaded baked potato salad to go on the side for the chicken that I was going to do in the crock pot. So I'm just kind of showing you how I did that. Um, I was following a recipe on Pinterest and I will have that recipe linked below as well as the crock pot chicken that I'm making. But I wanted to tell you guys that the chicken I'm using in this video is top notch. I am sponsored by butcher box for this video, but we absolutely love their meat and I am about to make another order because I've got to have more. It's literally that good and you guys absolutely have to try it. It's superb. It's like the grocery store meat has nothing on butcher box meat and I'm so so picky about meat. So when I tell you this, I mean it because I just ugh, like chicken gives me the ick. But their chicken it thawed out so quickly and easy and it was like already cleaned up. Like it didn't have the gross white stuff on it. I don't know if you're picky like me, but like I said, I am picky. So I don't like that stuff and I spend some time cleaning it up. It was already cleaned up. It was ready to go and it tasted amazing. So definitely stay tuned for that because you guys need to know this. We did everything and nothing at all and I should leave 
Are you super picky about your meats? Well, I for sure am. And we recently had the opportunity to try ButcherBox, which I've been wanting to try them for a while now, and I'm so glad we did. ButcherBox is a subscription service that delivers high quality meat that is raised without hormones and antibiotics, which I love that. I didn't realize this, but grass-fed pasture-raised meat has more vitamins and minerals. You can let them do the choosing with their custom box, or you can mix it up yourself with their curated box. And you can change it up every time you order. They have a huge variety of meat to choose from and having this delivered straight to my front door as a busy mom of three, that convenience is unmatched. And this meat is so much better than what I've been buying at the grocery store. My husband cannot stop talking about the steaks that I made the other night and their chicken that we just ate was top notch. They also offer satisfaction guarantees so it's really risk-free and they always have free shipping. If you want to try Butcher Box, you can use my link below to choose between chicken thighs, ground beef, or premium steak tips to receive free in every box for a whole year. That's three pounds of bone-in chicken thighs or two pounds of grass-fed and grass-finished ground beef or one pound of premium grass-fed and grass-finished steak tips. You can find the link and all of this information in my description box and I promise you guys you will not be disappointed. All right, so I'm using chicken tenders and chicken thighs. I got both of those in my box and my husband prefers dark meat and I prefer, and the girls prefer white meat and Hanky doesn't know what he prefers yet. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just putting those in the crock pot and as you can see, the chicken is like already cut up perfect size and clean as I call it. And I'm adding in about three fourths of a bottle of my favorite barbecue sauce. Actually, I don't have a favorite, but it was the one I picked. So choose your favorite. <laughs> And then I'm doing two mini cans of Coke. It calls for 12 ounces. I actually ended up putting 14 ounces in, but you guys probably know if you know me at all that I do not follow recipes very well. I'm terrible at measuring, but that's it. I salt and peppered, put garlic and onion in there, but you can just kind of season it however you want. And then I put it on low. I would recommend cooking it for less hours if that's possible for you, but I was so busy this day. I needed to put it in when I did. So it cooked a little longer than I would prefer chicken to cook. However, it was still very juicy, very tender, and good. It was not dried out. It just fell apart in my mouth. And it just, I can't explain to you unless you know, you know. And if you do know, let people know in the comments. Please help a girl out. Let them know. Help me describe to people what I'm trying to say. If you have tried organic or just like higher quality meats, let the people know because they may not believe me, but I'm telling you the truth. It's just so different than grocery store meat. I'm going to go ahead and clean the sink out. I'm sprinkling my Comet bleach in there. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit while I clean up the counter so that it can disinfect. And then I'll go back and scrub it. And then I'm just using my Branch Basics cleaner to wipe the counters clean. But I needed to just tidy up the kitchen and get that back in working order before I could move on. The kitchen definitely is like the room that I clean four times a day. Do you clean your kitchen four times a day or am I crazy? And also I'm showing you some close-up shots of my stove because sometimes I feel like it's hard to convey on screen how dirty my home actually is. It kind of looks clean from far away with the camera, but up close and personal, it's really not. I promise you, if my house just stayed clean, I definitely would not be cleaning it because I do enjoy cleaning, but I do not enjoy filming and cleaning. It's just so much more work and I have ADHD, so when I'm cleaning without the camera, I am all over the place. But when I'm filming, I have to make it make sense, so I have to stay on track. And so it doesn't, it's not as fun and relaxing for me, if that makes sense. So I was in the Dollar General last night grabbing some milk and I noticed that Dawn Power Wash had a new scent, which was the Gain scent. And I got really excited and got the bottle. And then when I got home, I had a thought. 
Um, I they also have gain power wash, right? So it's gain power wash, not dawn with gain, but gain power wash. And I love it. And I if I can find that, I'll get that instead of the dawn. It works the same in my opinion. So how does that work with dawn having the gain scent? Because um I just don't know. Like it's not making sense for me. Does somebody know? Make it make sense. How would you shower so beautiful the way the water drips on your phone? I... All right, round two. So I took my paper towel, put it in there, and realized that literally nothing had happened. And that's when I realized that I needed to plug it in and turn it on. So take it from me, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Obviously, nothing is going to happen if you put alcohol in it and you don't turn the thing on. <laughs> so... Then I tried to scrape up some of the wax, which does work, but it works a lot better when you heat the alcohol. So it was a process, but like I said, it did come pretty clean and you will see the results of that in just a little bit. Now I'm going to let that soak some more. It was like an all day process, which was ridiculous, but whatever. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and clean the floors with my vac mop and um, I'll be done in the kitchen and we can move on. Too good for me, and that we would never be. We share the last So, if you guys watch my behind the scenes at the end of all of my videos, then you will know that a lot of the times I'm listening to a crime podcast, especially when I'm folding laundry or cleaning the bathroom. And I normally listen to Tend to Life, Annie Elise. She reports on true crime. A lot of the time, it's like up and coming things that are happening like right now, but sometimes it's things that have happened in the past and or she'll like update on cases from the past if there is an update on that. And I really enjoy her YouTube channel, but one of you had heard me listening to her um, in the behind the scenes and recommended Bailey Sarian. And thank you so much because I have thoroughly enjoyed watching her videos. I've watched several so far. You had told me that she has a special way of telling stories and you were not kidding. She is so funny. I could listen to her talk about clipping her toenails and it would be entertaining. And that's a quality that I wish I possessed, but I do not. I find myself to be quite boring, but she's just great. So I highly recommend her. I will say if you don't have like a sense of humor or you don't like language, then you probably won't like her. But she just basically says what she thinks and she just is so funny. But she basically has like these dark history podcasts. So she talks about things that have happened in the history of the world, not just the United States. And she just has a way of telling you the story. It's all facts, but it's just interesting. And then she also does her makeup and talks about like true crime stories. So there's a, like a mix of different things on her channel. But I just recently listened to an episode about the history, the dark history of beauty standards. And that was very interesting. She talked about how the bra was invented and like what women used to do in order to remain what their standard of beauty was back then. And she also talked about in another episode that I really enjoyed, we talked about the dark history of giving birth. So it went back like way, way, way long ago and how giving birth was and different things, different ways they did things, the reasons certain things were invented and the reasons we do things that we still do to this day. It was just really cool and it wasn't boring at all. It's just like almost like a comedy show, but it's facts. I can't explain it. If you've never seen her, you'd have to watch a video, but I, honestly, if you watch one video, you will be hooked like me. So you will hear me listening to an episode of her in the background and the behind the scenes of this video, but I definitely wanted to thank that person for telling th me about her. And also I wanted to share that with you guys because it makes cleaning so much more fun for me when I have something like that to listen to. I'll sometimes listen to music, but I like listening to that because I get hooked and so I'm cleaning, but I'm like listening to the story and it just helps everything to go by faster and definitely makes it less boring. And I also especially love to listen to it when I'm folding laundry or when I get out of the shower and I'm doing my hair and makeup. That's another time that I will um, listen to it as well. And sometimes I listen to it in the car. Both Tend to Life and Annie Elise 
or Tinder Life and Elise is one person. <laughs> Both Tinder Life and Bailey have podcasts. You can listen to them on anywhere that you can listen to podcasts. For me, that's Spotify. So you can listen to them like in the car if you want, but I usually prefer the video version because they will show pictures and stuff and I'm into that. So anyways, that's just a little bit of information for you guys today. I love sharing things with you that I enjoy, but now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum my couches and I'm going to go ahead and clean them. Like I said earlier, you can't really tell from here, but up close and personal, I promise there's dog hair, crumbs, spilled milk, all of it. It's all all over it. So there's some spilled milk for you. <laughs> I'm going to clean this up and I'm just using my Castile soap and water and I've been doing it this way for years. My couches are real leather so it's perfect for that but if you have the faux leather this would also work great for that as well. So today I'm actually going to be washing my throw blankets and throw pillows, not in this video, but actually today as I'm talking because I that's on my to-do list, but I'm using this that I found at the Dollar General to just fresh, freshen them up. I can never talk, you guys. Um, and that stuff smells like a day at the pool or a day at the beach. Seriously, when I spray it, that's what I think about. It reminds me of a day at the pool. So it's awesome. But yeah, anyways, I was just thinking when I was watching that clip back that I need to go through all that stuff in the washing machine just because when I do have guests coming over, I like to make sure that I wash my throw blankets and pillows because a lot of times they sit down on the couch and they grab a pillow and they grab a blanket and I want to make sure that it's really fresh smelling. So that's on my to-do list today. So as a reminder to you, if you are cleaning, you can add that to your list. Do you make a to-do list when you're cleaning? Like, do you write down all the things that you want to tackle or do you just kind of go with it? I almost always make a list. You guys don't see that. I don't usually share it, but there is a list in the background of pretty much every video that I film. It helps keep me on track and remind me of things that I want to get done. And I will say that I don't always get everything on the list done and that's okay, but I try to get as much done on the list as possible, but it helps me because not only does it keep me on track, it reminds me of everything that needs to be done and it feels so satisfying to check everything out. While I had my vac mop all set up, I decided to go ahead and do my front rooms because they needed to be done. I needed to refill the water tank though. And I get asked a lot, where is Bailey? She's right there. She almost is always right there. She just isn't always on camera. Tucker follows me everywhere. He is literally my shadow. So you are going to see more of him. He's my dog. He's where I am. Bailey is not my dog. She's my daughter's dog. She's not my shadow but she's there. I promise. Sometimes she's outside soaking in the sun. Sometimes she's downstairs in bed with her mama. Sometimes she's napping somewhere. She just does not follow me. So she's just not on camera a lot. She's still here and she's doing well. And yeah, we love her and she's fat and happy guys. I promise. All right. And then I'm switching out bedding again because I was doing this all day long and I have some new sheets. They are by the brand bear. They're from Amazon. Now I love the Sonora Kate sheets. I've talked about them, raved about those for years. They're still my favorite sheets, but I wanted to try a different set because I needed a new set. I ended up throwing one of my old ones away. I think I talked about this recently, but it was time and I wanted to replace it. And first of all, I'm super terrified of this color. You guys have talked about that before too. A lot of people love white sheets. Not me, not I, I do not. And these are not white, but they're cream. So to me, that is very scary, but so far so good. Anyhow, um, I wanted to try a different brand. I wanted just like a little bit different color options and this brand claimed all of the claims of the Sonora Kate. So I figured I would give it a whirl. So this is them and I do love them. I do recommend them. 
I would give them a nine and the Sonora Kate a 10 uh, as far as softness goes in quality too, but softness. They're super duper soft, definitely softer than what you can get at Target or Walmart, but they're not quite as soft as the Sonora Kate. So if you're between the two, really you can't go wrong. You, If you've never tried the Sonora Kate, you won't even notice the difference. But those are definitely two brands of sheets from Amazon that I can recommend. And they're definitely cheaper than what you can get at Target. my bathroom. I'm not doing a super deep clean in here today, but I am just doing the normal like wipe down stuff. And I got this cute little makeup case from Temu, by the way. I just did a video with Temu. If you haven't seen that haul, it's super fun. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. It's the last video that I did before this one. Um, and I share everything that I got from there. And I was really happy. This is something that I had bought with my own money from Temu prior to me getting to work with them because I have been a customer of theirs before I got to work with them. And then I got to work with them. And then I actually even just ordered a new core, a new cart with my own money after I worked with them because they're so fun. It's like everything's so inexpensive. So anyhow, that's where I got that. It did come broken. That's why the lid comes off and they offered to replace it for me. They're really good about that. It wasn't their fault. You know, things happen. It was just like the hinge was broken and shipping it happened and they offered to replace it for me, but I just didn't want to bother with it. And it's, it is fine. It still is fine. So anyhow, um, what was I going to say? I forget where I went off on a tangent there about broken things. Anyhow, see, I promise you I have ADHD. I am unmedicated. I wanted to talk about this mega foam shower cleaner that I'm using on the toilet. <laughs> There's a few things we need to talk about here. Um, I decided to use it on my toilet because, and my bath, you'll see, because it disinfects and I thought that the spraying foam would be really cool, which I was right. Um, I do like it for cleaning those areas, even though it's supposedly for the shower, it works great for those things. However, it smells so bad. It stinks like really, really bad. Like enough that will make you sick. So if you've tried that cleaning product, do you agree or disagree? You're not going to offend me if you disagree, by the way. I don't know what it was. Mm -mm, no. So if you saw that and you're like, ooh, I want to try that. Don't. Just don't. To do something else because yes, it does clean good, but it just stinks. And I can't even describe to you the way it smells. It's not like a chemically perfumey smell that I don't prefer. It's like something else. Can't describe it, but it's not good. So, and it and it's strong. So it's a no go for me. I won't be repurchasing that. So I'm gonna have to find me something else because I, as you, I don't know if you did notice, but I ran out of the bathroom foamer that I was using. So that's why I switched to that. And I was like, oh, this was the wrong choice. Play. 
your father's goodbye Guess I didn't fit in that frame of your life But I hope that you find all that love in your kids and your wife Now you play out with the big boys Bathroom one down, bathroom two still to go. So this is obviously in my son's bathroom, but this also shares with the guest room because it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. So I needed to clean that up for my sister because I'm pretty sure she didn't want to take a shower with all of Hanky's little trucks and boats and toys. He loves to play with his trucks and stuff in the bathtub. So anyways, it's like a hazard. Didn't need that for her. Needed to clean it up. So I'm taking everything out and I'm going to scrub the shower down for her. And, um, I'm still using the stinky stuff, but you know, I had to, you know, get my money's worth out of it or else I would feel guilty. But I'm also going to be using that hose you see there. I hook that up and it makes spraying it and rinsing it so much easier. I've talked about that before, but they're super inexpensive. You can get one of those. They're also great for washing your animals. Like if I give um, Tucker a bath in here or like rinsing your kid's hair out they're like 20 bucks. And if you don't have a removable shower head, this is awesome because it can pop in and become one and then it can pop out and then you have your regular shower head. So it can, you know, do that and then not do that. You guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to get so much done today. and I'm trying to get this voiceover done quickly because I do have, I said earlier, I have all my kids home and they hate when I do voiceovers when they're home because they have to be very quiet. They can't go in and out. They can't get in the pantry and get snacks. They feel like they're in prison. And so I feel rushed. <laughs> and so that paired with my ADHD and like having all the stuff on my mind that I need to do is not doing well for my voiceover. But what's new? Honestly, all my voiceovers are kind of all over the place. So, you know, if you're new here, hopefully you can just accept me for who I am. around four no it was not four I'm lying it was around three and I'm still switching out laundry as you can see I had picked Hanky up from school and I need to take Maddie to work and then I needed to get Kensley from school so I definitely was doing a ton of stuff behind the scenes in these clips that you, you know, it looks like I'm just bouncing from one thing to the next. Definitely not the case. I had left the house actually a couple of times in between these rooms, but, um, that's all that to say. We're still doing laundry guys. We're still doing the laundry, but we're almost done. So I'm swapping out. I put my rugs from the bathroom in there to wash. And I'm also washing my sheets that I took off my bed, but now it's finally time to start putting the beds back together. By the way, if you didn't see the makeover of this room, what what are you doing? Like, 
go back. It's two videos back behind this one. It says guest bedroom makeover or bedroom makeover. And I made over that bedroom and you guys need to see it because it's so fun. And I just love the way that it turned out. It's also the background for my Temu video, which is pretty cool. It worked out kind of perfectly, but I just love that room. I kind of want to move in there, but my husband says no. <laughs> In the top of a tree, I had to listen. I got a feeling it was saying something to me. I'm calling my papa, telling him all the things they them bangs and the crashes on the way to my dreams. Although I'm a mother, I could need some advice, a little pat on the shoulder for that long bum. I get asked a lot about our pillows. So my pillow, the blue pillow, my husband used to have that same one. They're cooling pillows from Columbia. We got them free with our mattress and I still love mine. His is worn down more than mine because he's heavier and he sweats more. So we're getting rid of that one. And when we had went home for Christmas, his mom had new pillows on the bed we slept in and he loved them. And she was so sweet when she came up to visit last week and brought us a pack of those. They're really nice. So that's the one that he has. And I'm saving mine because I still really love my pillow. So I'm kind of holding on to that one for when I do need to replace mine. But it's so hard to get into the pillowcase. The first time I put it on, I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> but I figured it out. If I roll the pillowcase up all the way, kind of like you do like a sock or some pants that you're putting on, it goes so much easier. So if you have a really fluffy pillow that's difficult to put pillowcases on, that's the hack. I figured it out. Also, fun fact, my tripod broke during the filming of this video. It actually broke in the beginning and I was just really trying to get through it. You guys don't know it because I did my very best, but like some of the time the tripod was definitely very broken, <laughs> but I got it to work to get me through this video. But however, at this point in the video, it, it was no longer working. So we're going handheld. <laughs> So I'm sorry if this footage makes you dizzy. I thought maybe it would be kind of cool from a different like viewpoint, but if it didn't, if it's not cool, don't worry. It's not going to be a thing. All right, a few things before I end this because I have kids whining that they're hungry for lunch, so I've got to end this voiceover. I told you guys they hate it. So um, I just wanted to say don't forget to stay tuned because behind the scenes are coming and you will definitely enjoy those. And thank you so, so much for watching today's video. And please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and share and subscribe if you are new. Those are all free ways to support my channel. And if you like this type of content, then that's something that you could do for me. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you all are doing well. I appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the description box for all of the links to things that I mentioned. And of course, if I forgot something or you saw something in the video that you want to know where I got it, just ask me and I will do my very best to get back with you on that. So anyways, have a good day, guys.
No, it's not. Please don't touch it, okay? Because I don't want you to knock it over. Watch out. I'm just taking her blankets off. You're all right. Okay, get my phone. Sweetness. This time um, we're headed to London back in the 1950s when England was still like settling down after World War II. First of all, he was born November 23rd, 1945, which makes him a stash. And that was deeply upsetting. Museum, we're gonna learn science and we're also gonna learn social studies. Hmm, it's supposed to be diced up smaller. What happened? Can I do it again? Or do I need a different cutter? 